Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. So, hallo, herzlich willkommen zu Tell Me Why. Äh, kurze Erklärung, ich habe das schon zweimal probiert, dieses Spiel aufzunehmen, und immer ging irgendwas nicht. Entweder ging der Ton nicht, oder das Bild war scheiße. Es ist jetzt mein dritter Versuch. Deswegen weiß ich schon, was ich jetzt hier zu tun habe. Ja, das wollte ich nur vorab sagen. Ich habe eine Stunde ungefähr schon zweimal gespielt. Und deswegen ist es für mich jetzt erstmal nicht blind. Why would it be in here? Und mehr würde ich dazu auch gar nicht sagen. I don't really have time to dig through this right now. Probably not gonna see any stars at this time of day. Pff. I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. I could look at this artwork all day. Not the prettiest of my creations, but she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. Oh, 
Come on. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Okay, ich werde es auf jeden Fall so machen. Ich werde die, ich werde die Texte nur vorlesen, wenn es ein langer Text ist. Wenn das nur so eine Beschreibung von einem Bild ist, so wie gerade eben, Abschlussball, werde ich es nicht vorlesen. So wie hier jetzt, das werde ich jetzt zum Beispiel vorlesen. Polizeichef Brown bittet Gemeinderat um neues Budget. Hafenstreik beginnt diese Woche. Bürgermeisterwahlkandidat Tom Vecchi für Waffenreglementierung und Geld für örtliche Schulen. Last picture I sent was from the... I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Okay, to-do list. Come on, schenken. All set, I think. Still need to find those damn house keys. Is he gonna like this? Or is it too much? Also, ich würde ihn mögen. Den Teddy. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. Moment. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Michael and Tyler are so gonna hit it off. It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. I need to bring this with me to Juno. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box. Not here. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Hey, you wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. One more season. What am I even gonna do with myself when it's over? Get invested in the lives of real people? Oh, right. I stashed them down here. So that's where you've been hiding. This feels like another lifetime. This feels like another lifetime. All right, I think I'm ready to go now. Lieber Tyler, ich weiß, was du jetzt denkst. Ein Brief? Warum so komisch und förmlich? Wieso keine E-Mail? Tja, ich dachte mir für ein Hey Bruderherz, ich wollte mich nur mal eben melden, bevor wir uns wiedersehen, nachdem du zehn Jahre im Jugendnast warst. Wäre ein Brief passender. Wie auch immer, du wirst mir dankbar sein, wenn du 90 bis die Maschinen die Weltherrschaft an sich gerissen haben und du noch was hast, das du bei Kerzenschein lesen kannst. Siehst du, ich plane voraus. Tja, ich kann kaum glauben, dass du in ein paar Wochen wirklich draußen bist. Was geht? Das ist so cool. Ich werde bestimmt total verkrampft sein, wenn wir uns sehen. Also ver Versuch das bitte zu ignorieren, okay? Wie war der letzte Monat? Bist du traurig, dass du deine Schützlinge verlässt? Sie werden dich bestimmt vermissen. Ich habe neue Reifen anbringen lassen, bin also bestens vorbereitet, um dich abzuholen. Und spar dir abfällige Bemerkungen, wenn du meine Karre siehst. Sie hat einiges erlebt und es kann nicht jeder ein Autofreak sein. Die Wages haben mir den Tag freigegeben. Wir können also direkt zum alten Haus fahren und es für den Verkauf vorbereiten. Ich kann es kaum erwarten, nie wieder über diesen Ort nachdenken zu müssen. Ich freue mich wirklich darauf, dich zu sehen. Nur damit das klar ist, drück dich, Alison. 
Okay. Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I know most of these by heart at this point. <sighs> Wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Man, he's going places. And I'll be able to say I helped him on his way. Okay, Kunstausstellung von Schülern des Firebeat Youth Centers in Grindhouse. Teil 29 bringt jungen Tlinkit Künstlern, ich kann diesen Namen nicht aussprechen, Tlinkit, Tlinkit, Okay, Tlinkit Künstler. Im lokalen Topveranstaltungsort. Okay, ich habe mich mal informiert, was das ist. Das sind die Völker in Alaska. So, jetzt wissen wir es alle. Ich habe es nämlich nicht gewusst. Ich kannte das nicht, den Ausdruck für diese Bevölkerung. Hm, is there any way I can? No, nah, that's someone else's problem now. Und ich finde es mega schwer auszusprechen. Noch zur Läden, ledigen Tutoraufgaben. Paris mit Motivationsschreiben fürs College helfen bis zum Wochenende. Dr. Beck anrufen wegen Tutorsitzungen mit Jeremy Aaron treffen wegen Gartenprogramm. Sonstiges Papierkram vorbereiten für Flucht. W2 und Brief 2 Nov, November. Irgendwas für Edison. Okay. Ach ja. Ach, das hatten wir schon. Man, I'm gonna miss that view. Bye, Herbert. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. Okay, feiern, aufklären, zusammenhalten. Transvisibility March in Juno. Okay, das ist eine Veranstaltung. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Nämlich dieser Karton voll Müllschätzen gehört jetzt dir, dem rechtmäßigen Finder. Okay. Und hier haben wir einen Kalender, wann er seinen Testosteron nehmen muss. Denn er ist Transgender. Ja, eigentlich war er mal ein Mädchen. Aber nein, das wollte er nicht. Deswegen ist er jetzt ein Junge. So, hey Aaron, du weißt ja, Briefe sind nicht meine Stärke, aber du warst der beste Tutor, den sich ein gefährdeter, <lacht> aber reformierbarer <lacht> Jugendlicher wünschen könnte. Danke, dass du für mich da warst. Du hast mir mehr geholfen, als du denkst. Ich werde versuchen, das Beste daraus zu machen, wenn ich aus Feier wieder raus bin. Überleben heißt rebellieren. Danke, Kumpel. Tyler. Ein Abschiedsbrief. Okay. Ah. Uh. Gonna miss these dum -dums. Wir sehen uns, Tyler. Drück dich. Danke, bester Mentor. Du wirst uns fehlen. Viel Glück, bis bald. Du hast es rausgeschafft. Vaya con Dios. Okay, dann sehen wir uns noch Bye, das letzte an. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. 
Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Honestly, people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Whoa. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. 
That or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but... It was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie... I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please. For me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you. Not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie. Or even... Uncle? <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, we have the power of the controllers. Hey, it's me. Yep, we didn't die in a fiery crash. How are you? So weird being back on this boat. <clears throat> I 
Wie ist mein Sport? Willst du mein Sixpack sehen? Oh, yeah. Das finde ich gut, dass man sie gar nicht sprechen hört, ne? Aber. Also. Das Spiel. <lacht> Macht mich fertig. Wie gesagt, das ist jetzt mein dritter Anlauf hier, was zu reißen. What a waste of a good point. Die Natur ist schon geil in Alaska, ne? Ist schon Hammer. Wenn alle Stricke reißen, befolgen sie die Anweisung des Captains. Was für ein schickes Wortspiel. Okay, dann gucken wir mal uns den ganzen Krempel hier an. Expedition, Kronjuwelen entdecken, okay. Jetzt geöffnet, A do drop in bed and breakfast, okay. Einführung, Igelkraft, Wurztee herstellen, mhm. okay. Was haben wir da? Biete 5 Meter Kanu. Linkit Tanz Performance. Uh, ich konnte es richtig aussprechen. Uh, uh, mal gucken, wie oft noch. <lacht> das ist für mich voll der Zungenbrecher. Dieses Wort. Schützt unsere Heimat. Wir haben keine andere. Oh ja, das ist wohl wahr. Under the Sea. Okay. Castana Winter Formal. Fancy. Wait. Wasn't that Allison's High School? Hm. Ich glaube, das war auch McFly's High School. <lacht> Okay. Mm. Yikes. Hey, I heard that. Kopfschuss. Verbrechensbekämpfung. Hey, Ben, it's your truck. You do you. Same to you. Live and let live. Just a sticker. Enjoying the ride? Ja, warum nicht? I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Mm, geboren und aufgewachsen. Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clean kid, I'd, uh, haven't been home in five years. Ah, my sister's planning to move to Juno. Good for her. Most folks I know never tried living anywhere else. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin? Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? I didn't. I'm Tyler. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, uh... Ronan, huh? Ronan as in the Ronans? Uh-huh. So, uh, you're... I never knew those girls had a brother. We didn't. Uh... <laughs> I, uh... Nice talk. Yeah. Enjoy your time in town, Tyler. Okay. Du bist wohl noch nicht in der modernen Welt angekommen, Opi. Wow, look at that antique. You're not one of those odd six is old and boring folks, are you? Isn't hunting season almost over? Almost. Wanna draw for one of the last hunts of the season. Wonder if there'll be time to hit the buzzard hole while I'm here. What's that now? Oh, uh, nothing. Okay, fischen, jagen. Na gut, er hat mich ja nicht doof angemacht. 
Er hat es nur nicht ganz kapiert, ne? Okay. Gibt es noch irgendwas hier? Können wir noch mal mit Allison quatschen? Sie telefoniert ja nicht mehr. Nö, nee, sieht nicht so aus. Okay. Dann würde ich sagen, steigen wir mal in die Karre. Ich denke, wir sind gleich da. Hm? Jo. Let's go. Ich bin schon da. I'm ready. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. <lacht> so, dezent eingehustet hier. <lacht> After you. Naja, gleich. Ich guck mir erstmal hier noch das Vogelhäuschen an. Marianne always spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Hey, you remember that? Come on, Tyler. It's freezing out here. You're right. Sorry. Let's head inside. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Hm. 
Na gut. Wir kommen also nicht rein. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place and broken windows aren't exactly amenity. The crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. Okay, ich vermute mal ganz stark, dass vielleicht der Adoptivvater, also der Chief. For this right now. Luckily, remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. We gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. Okay, was ich sagen wollte, ich denke, der Chief hat die äh, Schlösser vielleicht ausgetauscht. At least we don't seem to have any It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. Open Sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah. We stashed all our goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Oh, looks like a neighbor came by. It's funny. I can't remember any signs of them when we were kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. Yeah, she scared everybody else off too. You need a break already, Ronan? No, just sitting, enjoying the view. Seriously, how are you feeling? Tired. I didn't sleep much last night. Yeah, I can't believe how we used to run around for hours without stopping. Yeah, always a troll to run away from, or a treasure to find. We definitely never lacked imagination. Marianne didn't either. It was the one thing that brought us all together, even in the end. She told a new story, didn't she, that night? It was weird. She built this bench, right? If you're trying to scare me off so you can steal my seat, it won't work. No, I just remember us all sitting here after. I fell asleep and woke up really stiff later. I don't remember us sitting anywhere for more than a few seconds, which sounds exhausting now. Guess we're just old. At least we've got a few more years before we're... As old as her. Come on, that's enough rest for us. Let's get inside. All right. Okay, bevor wir aber reingehen, machen wir hier noch eine Runde. Vielleicht gibt es hier noch was zu entdecken. Irgendwas. Mal schauen. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. Okay, dann nicht. <lacht> dann nicht. 
I wonder if there are still fish in the lake. Uncle Eddie taught us to fish here. You still fish? Nope. You? Every Sunday morning. Once I could leave fireweed, of course. Alone? Totally. At first, it kind of made me crazy. And then I started to really like it. It was relaxing. Really? Yeah, you know, the lake, the water, the sky, me, just a speck in the middle of it all. A speck with a spliff? Always. Ja, warum nicht, wenn's dich entspannt? I still can't believe I convinced you to climb that raggedy ash tree with me. Yeah, not happening a second time. Oh, come on. I was the one who fell out. And then I had to walk all the way to Delos Crossing to get Tessa to drive you to the hospital. I was fine. You had a concussion. I mean, are you really living life if you haven't gotten a concussion or two? Hmm. I think that's the brain injury talking. Okay, dann haben wir halt einen Hirnschaden. <coughs> okay, da ist noch was. Um, no beavers. Too bad. A picture of him would have helped with the sale. Yeah, city people love cute furry animals. Teeming with wildlife, but not the kind that eats the insulation. Situated comfortably in the ass of the world, solicitors will never come knocking. In fact, no one will ever come at all. Yep. <laughs> yep. We should do this for a living. Yes. Yes, we should. Even the beavers moved on. Okay. Die Bieber sind verschwunden. Okay. Genug. Wir müssen einen Weg ins Haus finden. noch irgendwas, was wir angucken können? Da hinten vielleicht? Ich lauf da mal hin. This forest is so cool. Like some elven kingdom. Our hidden domain. Far away from the stress of the modern world. So is fireweed. In its own way. I didn't have to deal with pumping gas and buying groceries, paying rent. Is my brother feeling a little unprepared? Things were so simple when we were kids. The house, the lake, the woods. It was all right here. Everything we needed. Not everything. There's always trade-offs. And what you lose in trees, you gain in cool people, modern medicine, hot food. Sure, all that's nice. But are they needs? Okay. Um, ich muss mich entschuldigen für meine Husterei, aber ich hab's irgendwie im Hals. Ich kann es leider nicht unterdrücken, sonst kriege ich einen Kotzanfall. Es <lacht> tut mir wirklich leid. <lacht> How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one, but I hardly ever used it. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Aus dem Weg, lady. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. It's locked, all right. Okay, verschlossen. <clears throat> okay. There should be something in here that'll work. Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she thought we'd go on a rampage and tear up her precious plants. And we would have, so... Hey, I see a screwdriver. 
Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um, feeling something strange. Everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. You just have to remember which one is the silent frog. So, which one of you is hiding the key? Hmm? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping the secret, buddy. Okay, ich muss mal kurz was dazu sagen. Also, sie sagen, das ist neu. Also, das heißt, die haben auf jeden Fall irgendwelche Kräfte zusammen. Es sind Zwillinge, die können vielleicht irgendwie was zusammen bewirken. Ich weiß es nicht. Und ich persönlich glaube, dass er nicht seine Mutter getötet hat. Oder vielleicht war es auch nur eine Adoptivmutter, weil sie immer Mary Ann sagen. Ich weiß es nicht. Auf jeden Fall glaube ich es nicht. Da war irgendwas. Irgendwas ist da passiert. Und er hat gesagt, er hat es getötet, damit irgendjemand vielleicht nicht die Schuld bekommt. Vielleicht schützt er sie. Ich weiß es nicht, aber irgendwas stimmt da nicht. Das weiß ich auf jeden Fall. Es ist nicht so, wie man es gesehen hat. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? She always knew when we were lying. Waste not or kiss the planet goodbye. Okay, wir können jetzt rein. Wir haben den Schlüssel. Dann holen wir den Schraubenzieher, Schraubendreher, wie man es auch immer nennen möchte. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Okay, Vogelfutter. Dann gehen wir mal noch die Vögelchen füttern. Wenn wir es schon haben, dann lassen wir auch ein bisschen was für die Vögel da. These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. Okay. Gut, dann können wir jetzt das Brett abschrauben. 
und dann mal in die Bude reingehen, würde ich sagen. Da ist noch eine Schraube drin. Hallo? Hallo, da ist noch eine Schraube drin. Warum schraubt er nicht alle ab? You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! That's not funny! <laughs> Then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Okay, gucken wir uns hier mal ein bisschen um. In dem typisch amerikanischen Keller. <lacht> Are you okay? What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. I, I think so. We'll figure it out together. Okay, anscheinend können sie telepathisch irgendwie miteinander kommunizieren. Was sind die beiden? Also auf jeden Fall sind sie keine Normalos. Irgendwas, vielleicht sind sie Außerirdische. <lacht> Wer weiß. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Links, okay. Dann gehen wir erstmal rechts. <lacht> you were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. Egal, hier liegt aber Zeug rum. I would have taken gold. Not even in your dreams. Olympischer Wettkampf in Delos Crossing. Steinhüpfen, Allison 4. Olli? Wer ist denn Olli? Ah, vielleicht hieß er ja früher so. Vielleicht Olivia oder so. Hm. Könnte sein. Then left again after the goblins. Left again. Okay, dann gehen wir wieder nach, <lacht> nach rechts. Verzeihung. It was on the right. My bad. Okay, dann doch eher nach links. <lacht> ich will alles erkunden. Da liegt noch was. Aha. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. Hm, ich weiß nicht, ob ich den noch anfassen wollen würde, wenn er hier die ganze Zeit im Dreck liegt. Our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. Pink. It always had to be pink. <laughs> I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. The treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. The 
Mad Hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Okay, where's the Luke? Here. Okay. Öffnen. Zack. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. So, jetzt sind wir im Haus. Jetzt können wir uns hier mal in Ruhe umgucken. Maschinenreparaturen. Alright, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Mary Ann thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. <sighs> Are these authentic, Clinket? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. 20 years ago, everyone was buying fakes. Okay. Hm. Ist das unser Zimmer? Da gehen wir als letztes rein. Okay, Lady. Allison. Lass uns weiter umsehen. Badezimmer. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. <laughs> hmm. Not a total disaster, Ronan. <laughs> what are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. Handmade soap. Still here after ten years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house.
We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. <laughs> but not the part where it got broken. Especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. Okay, das hat sich jetzt aber auch nicht so positiv angehört. Ich weiß nicht, vielleicht sind sie einfach zwiegespalten. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Hm. Eine Schürze. Best mom. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Hmm, okay. Okay. Vielleicht hatte sie ja dieses, ähm, ich weiß gar nicht, wie das heißt, dieses Syndrom, ähm, wo man <lacht> die Kinder immer so angeblich krank macht <lacht> und dann wieder pflegen möchte. Ich weiß nicht. Ich glaube, wir never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. Ich bin noch mal sehr gespannt, auf was es hinausläuft. <lacht> also die zwei haben auf jeden Fall irgendwelche Fähigkeiten. 2005. Of course. Fenster reparieren, drehen. The last few months are almost all blank. Only a few appointments. Most of them canceled. What kind of appointments? Hairdressing, I think. Oh yeah, she did that for a while. The last few months are almost all blank. Only a few appointments. Most of them canceled. What kind of appointments? Hairdressing, I think. Oh yeah, she did that for a while. Wir haben dich lieb, Mom. Ich euch auch, aber bitte nicht hier reinschreiben. Okay. Ich glaube, die war schon ganz speziell, die Frau. Okay, das macht er jetzt wieder nach oben. Ich will mal gucken, vielleicht gibt es noch irgendwas hier in dem Kalender. <lacht> After all this time, I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Oh. What? March 7th. Oh. Was war da? Hey. That reminds me, I owe you like 10 birthday gifts. I think we can let that slide. Okay, offensichtlich der Geburtstag. I mean it. Hey, you being back is the only gift I need. How are you feeling about being back? I thought I knew what to expect, but everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. How about you? You okay? It's a lot to process. I'll get there, but I'm not there yet. Just glad we're together. Me too. I went over what I thought it would feel like to walk through that door. I was wrong. I know exactly what you mean. Oh. 
Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. With big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah. That's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. She took so many pictures. Yeah, like she had to document every second of our lives. her happy, and it was kind of nice to see her smile. I guess. You okay? All these happy pictures. They look so sad now. So staged. I know. She was always entering photography contests. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these at my keep. Also das mit dem Bär finde ich eigentlich nicht schlecht. <lacht> Muss ich ganz ehrlich sagen. Okay. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. She pinched every penny. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. loved when she came over. She brought food and toys. You might not be quite so excited to see her now. Why do you say that? Her worldview is narrow, even by Della's crossing standards. Hallo Mom, es tut uns leid, dass die Vase kaputt ist. Wir wussten nicht, dass du sie so mochtest. Wir müssen besser aufpassen und nicht im Fensterzimmer spielen. Nächstes Mal versuchen wir vernünftiger zu sein. Bitte sei nicht mehr böse auf uns. Mir tut es auch leid. Wir sollten vorsichtiger sein. Ich bin sehr traurig, dass wir dich zum Weinen gebracht haben. Wir sollten lieber draußen spielen. Ich werde Olli bitten, nicht immer so wild zu sein. Wir machen es nie wieder. Tut uns leid. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy.
Okay, jetzt weiß ich nicht, ist das unser Zimmer? Ich will da noch nicht rein. Es sieht doch so aus wie ein Kinderzimmer, oder? Ich gehe erstmal nach oben. Okay, das ist ein Kinderzimmer. Wir gehen doch wieder runter, nach unten. Marianne's room. Aha. Agreed. Okay, da können wir gar nicht rein. Okay, das sieht aber auch aus wie ein Kinderzimmer, ne? Hm. Na gut. Ein bisschen crazy. Ich glaube, die waren ein bisschen crazy. Okay, ins Kinderzimmer gehe ich noch nicht. Ich schaue erst hier. Where do you come from? Ein Schweif aus zwei Schwertern. Okay, sonst ist ja nichts. Dann rein da. If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way, wait for me. Now this, this feels like home. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Hallo Allison und Olli, wir schreiben euch aus der Vergangenheit. Wie ist die Zukunft so? Juno ist jedenfalls total cool. Wir sind mit der Seilbahn ganz nach oben gefahren. Olli hatte Angst. Das ist gelogen. Wir haben ein paar Bücher Tyler, bekommen. Do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <lacht> the Mad Hunter. Oh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. Hallo, ich bin ja gerade mitten im Lesen. <lacht> Wir haben ein paar Bücher bekommen, aber als Mama abends ins Restaurant gegangen ist, hat sie sie dort vergessen. Es war cool, auf der Fähre gab es jede Menge Wale. So ein Quatsch, die waren im Wasser, Dummkopf. Jedenfalls soll euch diese Postkarte daran erinnern, wie cool wir sind. Vor allem ich, A und O, Alison und Ollie Ronan. Look, it's the game we made. Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Okay, Spielregeln. Entscheide durch Schere, Schere Stein, Papier, wer zuerst geht mit der Gabe der Stimme. Würfel und bewege dich entsprechend der gewürfelten Zahl weiter. Bezahle die Seilbahndame, um auf den Berg bzw. hinunterzukommen. Nimm den Rennschlitten, um den Berg herunterzurutschen. Wenn du eine Eins würfelst, darfst du noch einmal würfeln. Wenn du wieder eine Eins würfelst, nimm eine Motorkarte, um mit dem Rennschlitten auf den Berg zu gelangen. Wenn du eine Sechs würfelst, wirst du für zwei Runden zum wilden Jäger. Du kannst nicht abrutschen. Wenn du eine Drei würfelst, wirst du für drei Runden zum Bär. Seilbahn und Schlitten können in keine Richtung genutzt werden. Na gut. Ich wollte eigentlich noch das Teddybärchen anschauen. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh, this one wasn't mine. <lacht> ja, du hast wohl nicht so gut auf deine Sachen aufgepasst. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. You may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Ugh. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. Na, wieso? Also kreativ waren sie auf jeden Fall. <lacht> okay, wir suchen einen 
Schatz. Okay, hier ist eine Kiste. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you call him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie. Back then. Na gut, ist hier noch was? Nein, ne? Dann machen wir mal die Kiste auf, würde ich sagen. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Okay, die Froschdame erhält die Gabe des Sprechens. Minus drei. Der Bär und die Prinzessin. Ach so, das sind die Seiten, oder? Okay, das sind also die Geschichten. Okay. Die Froschdame erhält die Gabe des Sprechens. Es war einmal, es sind vier Seiten nach der Scheiße. Es war einmal in einem uralten und tiefen Wald eine große Froschdame, die in einem kleinen Teich lebte. Sie war, eine, sie war ein friedliches Geschöpf, das den Großteil seiner Zeit damit verbrachte, zu fressen, zu schwimmen und zu schlafen. Von der Morgen bis zur, Abendr von der Morgen bis zur Abendröte tat sie alles, was kleine Frösche auch tun, nur eben größer. Sie aß mehr, sie hüpfte weiter, sie war klüger und machte eine Menge mehr Lärm. Alle Lebewesen im Wald konnten ihr lautes Quaken hören und sie alle waren glücklich darüber. Es war nämlich leicht, sich im Wald zu verirren. Doch dank des lauten Quakens der großen Froschdame war es stets einfach, den Weg zurück zu ihrem Teich zu finden. Vielleicht wäre es anders gewesen, hätte die Froschdame auch nachts ihre Lieder gesungen, aber sie war ein viel zu faules Tier und nach Anbruch der Dunkelheit nie sonderlich aktiv. <lacht> Eines Tages betrat eine unbekannte Besucherin zum ersten Mal den Wald, eine junge Frau in einem wunderschönen Kleid. Sie marschierte eilig durch den Wald, so als sei sie auf der Flucht und blickte dabei kein einziges Mal über ihre Schulter. Viele Bewohner erspähten die Prinzessin beim Vorbeigehen, doch niemand traute sich ihr zu helfen, denn der wilde Jäger war ihr auf der Spur. »Das ist nicht unsere Angelegenheit«, sagte sie, »wir sehen lieber weg«. Denn der wilde Jäger war ein unnachgiebiger Mann, der nichts so sehr liebte wie Beute und des Ruhmes und des Geldes Willen zu jagen. <lacht> nichts konnte sich seinen bohrenden Blick lange entziehen. Oh mein Gott, so lief die Prinzessin <lacht> auf sich allein gestellt und ohne Hilfe so lange weiter, bis sie sich in den großen Wald heillos verirrte. Völlig erschöpft und ziellos eilte sie voran <lacht> mit dem beharrlichen Jäger dicht hinter ihr. Plötzlich hörte die Prinzessin ein lautes Quaken von links. Sie vernahm das Geräusch so deutlich, dass sie sogleich wissen wollte, wo es herkam. Kurz darauf stieß sie zur großen Froschdame im kleinen Teich, die der Prinzessin sehr freundlich, die der Prinzessin ein freundliches Lächeln schenkte. Bitte hilf mir, dachte die Prinzessin, ich brauche einen Ort, an dem ich mich verstecken und Rast machen kann. Quark, antwortete die Froschdame, und die Prinzessin legte die Stirn, die Stirn in Falten. Bitte mach nicht solch einen Lärm. Der wilde Jäger ist mir auf der Spur, Quark, sagte die Froschdame abermals so laut, dass die Prinzessin sich die Ohren zuhalten musste. Das Tier begann wild herumzuspringen. Was tust du nur? fragte die Prinzessin. Sei still, aber er findet uns. Aber die Froschdame quackte weiter und hüpfte aufgeregt um sich herum, rechts und links, auf und ab, quack, quack, bis die Prinzessin schließlich verstand, was es mit all dieser Aufregung auf sich hatte. Vorsicht kletterte sie auf den Rücken der großen Froschdame, die sich sogleich mit einem gewaltigen Satz von dem Teich entfernte. Die Froschdame springt so hoch, so und so weit, dass selbst der Jäger nicht mehr wusste, wohin die Prinzessin entschwunden war. Mit nur wenigen Sprüngen war die Prinzessin seinem bohrenden Blick entronnen. Ein paar Sprünge mehr und sie war wie vom Erdboden verschluckt. Die Prinzessin schloss ihre Augen und ließ sich von ihrem klugen Reittier tragen. 
Weniger als eine Stunde später hatte die große Frau Stamme das andere Ende des uralten Waldes erreicht, das in der Nähe des Ufers des tiefen Sees lag. Dort hielt sie lautlos vor einem großen verlassenen Holzhaus. Danke, sagte die Prinzessin und küsste das Tier. Mein einziger Wunsch ist, dass du doch sprechen könntest, damit ich deine Absichten früher verstanden hätte. Und als sie diese Worte aussprach, geschah etwas Unglaubliches. Die große Frau Stamme konnte mit einem Male sprechen. Ihre ersten Worte versetzten die Prinzessin in Staunen. Der wilde Jäger ist mir immer auf den Fersen. Jetzt bist du sicher und ich hatte meine Rache. In diesem Haus hier kannst du bleiben. Es wurde vor langer Zeit verlassen und niemand wird hier noch nach dir suchen. Dann, ohne noch ein weiteres Wort zu verlieren, sprang die große Frau Stamme zurück zum Teich. Und das war die Geschichte, wie die große Frau Stamme die Prinzessin rettete und die Gabe der Sprache erlangte. Puh. Okay, also es gibt hier anscheinend einige Geschichten, die werde ich nicht vorlesen. Ah, where is it? Geht gar nicht. for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Okay, dann gehen wir in Mary Ann's Zimmer. Moment, hier ist noch eine Erinnerung. The Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Addison, geh mir aus dem Wege. Bitte. Ja, was ich sagen wollte, also das ist einfach zu viel zum Vorlesen. Ich kann es ja mal aufschlagen und durchblättern. Könnt ihr dann Stopp machen. Es strengt mich einfach zu arg an. Ich habe eh Probleme immer mit meinen Stimmbändern. 
Und da will ich dann nicht zu viel Hold hier up. vorlesen. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touché. Okay. Uh, was müssen wir tun? Okay, müssen wir jetzt doch den ganzen Krempel lesen. Okay, warte mal. Nächste Geschichte. Okay, was haben wir da? The Bear and the Princess. Okay. Ich überfliege es nur, ja? Ich lese es nicht vor. Okay, das muss es eigentlich sein, ne? Ja, da ist es da schon abgebildet. Fackelschwert, Geld? Ne, ich weiß es nicht. Bär, Kobold, Kobold? Ne, das ist schon wieder eine andere Geschichte. Na ja, gut, dann lesen wir das mal. Die Feier der Prinzessin. Eines Tages in einem tiefen alten Wald. Oh Mann, Pelikan-Dame. Bär, Elch, oh Pelikan-Dame, Elch, ein Bär, Froschdame. Ist es das vielleicht schon? Pelikan, Bär, Elch und Froschdame? Ich probiere es einfach mal. Drehen. Pelikan. Bär. Ach nee, warte mal, das sind nur noch drei. Hm, okay. Hallo, ich hab doch hier... Oh Gott, ja. Sowas regt mich auf, wenn ich nach rechts schaue und dann ist es nicht aktiviert. Nochmal. Ich Koller hier. Das kann aber nicht richtig sein, oder? You sure you're gonna be able to crack it? Nee, ehrlich gesagt nicht. Ich brauche mal Hilfe. I uh need some help. Ja. I've got a few ideas. Okay, I read the story. What was I supposed to get from that? Look at the wheels. The symbols are the same as the animals in the story. Hm. Yeah. And the princess had to guess who'd given her the presents. Yes, I bet we have to do the same thing. Fackel der Wahrheit, das magische Schwert. Ah oh, ja, okay, alles klar. Mhm. 
Okay, dann gucke ich hier noch mal. Ich hasse es, wenn ich irgendwas so lesen muss, um ein Rätsel zu lösen. Fackel. Die erste Schachtel. Eine Fackel. Schwert. Geld. Ja, aber man sieht ja... Hä? Man weiß ja nicht, von wem jetzt hier was ist, ne? Also ich gehe mal davon aus, der Bär kommt aus dem Wald. Hat eine Fackel. Das Schwert. Von wem könnte das Schwert sein? Ich kann nicht denken. Hier um, öffnen die Tür. I think I'm just gonna force this open. Ja, sure? brich sie einfach auf. We're not in a rush and we'll have to fix it. <lacht> oh Mann. Löse das Rätsel für mich. Ich kann nicht denken. All right, one more try. <lacht> Komm, Anderson, helf mir. Do you think you're any closer to an answer? Nein. Ich will nicht denken. Hilf mir. I think I need some help. Okay, let's think this through. I'm 21 and I still can't crack a puzzle made for 11 year olds. Ja, ich habe kein Bock, like mein Hirn anzustrengen. I'm personally glad that doesn't come naturally to us. So the torch. It's supposed to reveal truth and separate good from evil. Marianne could have used one of those. The animal we're looking for kind of sounds like a judge or a cop. Hmm. We didn't have any cops in the stories. But maybe just a rule follower? Yeah. I'll keep looking. Is the not a rule follower? So one of the animals gave her a sword. It must have been from someone who wanted to take care of her physically. I'm totally stumped by the bag of coins. Yeah, none of the animals were especially rich. Maybe it's not about the money then. Maybe it's about wanting to help someone in need. Das ist ein Scheißrätsel. <lacht> Muss ich mal erwähnen hier. Sag mir es doch einfach, Alison, verdammt. Ich mache jetzt random. Ich habe keinen Bock da zu denken. Wirklich nicht. Es ist mir einfach zu blöd. Also, Fackel. Was ist, für, was ist für die Fackel? Einer, der beschützt. Ist der Bär, oder? Der beschützt doch einen. Der ist groß und stark und beschützt einen. Zack. Nochmal auf. So. Einer, der die Regeln befolgt. Wer befolgt denn hier die Regeln? Was weiß ich, der Pedigan? Der Elch? Was soll denn das überhaupt sein? Ich probiere es einfach, ja. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Ach Gott, ich hasse es wie die Pest sowas. Brich die Tür auf, komm, ich habe jetzt keinen Bock mehr. Geht doch. <lacht> Mach doch da nicht ewig rum mit so einem scheiß Rätsel. Bin eh nicht in der Stimmung zu denken. Hat bestimmt einen Erfolg gegeben. So much for the fairy tale mood. Whatever. We're not ten anymore.
She spent so much time making those elaborate games and worlds for us. Yeah. Yeah. Enough that she lost her grip on reality. So, where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Ugh. Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Ugh. They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this... As if she's still here. It's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Oh, this explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly, they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? <sighs> no wonder Marianne liked it. It's here! I knew it. I fucking knew it! Do you think she read it? Of course! She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad. I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. 
Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I f finally made sense of a few things. Well, <laughs> that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. About 
The book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. <sighs> well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. And then we found the book, and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. It was about me. Not you. And making it about you is really not cool. Seriously? That's it? Seriously. Okay, then. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. 
He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Okay, Mom und Allison haben wieder gestritten. Wenigstens schreit Mom jetzt nicht nur mich an. Es kam mir so vor, als wäre Mom fast eifersüchtig, weil wir ihr nicht gesagt haben, dass wir im Wald, was wir im Wald vorhaben. Eddie meinte, wir sollten ihr vor unserer Stimme erzählen, aber ich glaube, sie weiß schon davon. Mom hat ziemlich sauer reagiert, als, sie ge als, sie gefragt, als ich sie gefragt habe, ob ich ins Eishockey-Team darf. Als wäre es falsch, weil es ein Jungensport ist. Ich werde aber wieder fragen. Ich probiere es nächste Woche nochmal. Sie hat wieder Nein gesagt. Ich bin so wütend. Warum sagt sie immer Nein? Warum darf ich nie machen, was ich will? Allison und ich haben angefangen, eine Geschichte zu schreiben. Naja, eigentlich Allison. Sie wollte nicht, dass ich irgendetwas ändere. Warum kann ich nicht einer von den Kobolden ein Junge sein? Warum kann nicht einer von den Kobolden ein Junge sein? gestern bei Bobby Star Wars angeschaut. Luke ist so cool, aber Mom hat es herausgefunden und war sehr sauer. Sie sagt, es verherrlicht den Krieg. Zium, zium. Samstag, 5. Februar 2005. Vielleicht wäre Mom glücklicher, wenn ich einfach mache, was ich will. Wenn sie mich anschaut, sieht sie mich gar nicht. Ich wünschte, ich könnte es ihr zeigen. Ich wünschte, sie würde es verstehen, aber ich glaube, sie will das gar nicht. Addison hat wieder gesagt, dass ich schuld bin, dass Mom wütend auf uns war. Diese Schleimerin. Mom hat seit ein paar Tagen fast nicht mit uns geredet. Ellie hat gesehen, dass sie die Seiten aus dem Buch der Kobolde weggeworfen hat. Du liest du das. Ich kann ihre Stimme nicht mehr hören. Und diesen blöden Namen auch nicht. Ich bin Olli, der Kobold. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. We were in our own world most of the time. The lake wasn't just a lake. It was Moonhag's lair, and the mountain was an ice troll. True. Plus, you get used to anything if you see it every day. Not always. Nice ring. Get from your boyfriend. Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. <sighs> all right. I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't gonna say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh-huh. My sister. The social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> What the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, 
I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before, but, uh... uh I've never seen a dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Ugh. I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. It's fine. Let's just change the subject. <laughs> Works for me. Tyler. Thanks, Sam. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh... I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course, yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? How well did you know her? <laughs> Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. Ist noch nicht besoffen? Ist er besoffen? Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah you two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Nah. We're all done with fairy tales. Yeah. After what you two been through, makes sense. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. Allie, can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um... Everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh. All right. Uh, 
Okay, mehr gibt's nicht. Wir sollten jetzt gehen. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Ja. He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit. So. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all got to get going. Oh. Uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh, this place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh... Yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Okay, wir sind jetzt Allison. Können wir auf die andere Straßenseite? Diesen Zebrastreifen. Nee, geht nicht. Schade. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying co-worker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co-worker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. 
So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. What's that? Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you wanna go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool, most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two, bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Vecchi? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas. And he's not exactly charismatic. Okay, wir müssen in den Shop, aber ich werde erstmal außen rum gehen. Mal gucken, was da noch so ist. Should we go inside or stand around until we become human popsicles? Immer mit der Ruhe. Bruder. Hier geht da was. Ist doch eine Erinnerung. Hey Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Get it? Cause it's a dome? You're gonna fall, stupid! was funny. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go shopping. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Come on, I'm freezing here. Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of babinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. <laughs> Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Police Department, Fahndungshinweis. In letzter Zeit kam es zu einer Reihe von Fällen von Postdiebstahl in und um 
Dallas Crossing. Insbesondere in East Point und Almeda haben Anwohner gemeldet, dass Briefe und Pakete aus ihren Briefkästen gestohlen wurden. Das Dallas Crossing Police Department fordert alle Anwohner auf, wachsam zu sein und rät zur Anschaffung absperrbarer Briefkästen. Bitte melden Sie verdächtiges Verhalten, verzüglich und wahr. Okay. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. Na gut. Brüderchen. Rein in den Shop. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise, after 10 years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Man, I wish we had a toaster. We could stock up on Hey Tom. Waffles. There's something I can help you with? Wie läuft denn so das Geschäft? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Uh, don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What'll they think up next, huh? What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. How's it going, Tom? Great. The campaign's prospects have got me completely energized. The pumpkins get bigger every year. Well, you know, our produce vendor has won several ribbons at the Alaska State Fair. I heard she spent a thousand dollars on her starter seeds. Can you imagine? So, how's the day off going? Well, Ty's here, so hard to complain. Good for you. Family's important. Okay, I'll talk to you later. That pumpkin's huge. Hier gibt es sehr viele Pinwände. Athletic, graceful and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. Gratis Konzert. Hm. I should write down their info for after the move. Ah, man. Marianne used to sample everything from the bulk bins. Tessa hated it. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. 
Wish any of it sounded good. I'm grabbing some water. You do you, girl. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Hmm. Tja, ich nehme mal das Grüne. Mm, organics better. Got any big plans in Juno? Oh yeah. Um, well, there's a passable cooking school there. I'm gonna be a chef. Oh, you gonna open up your own restaurant? Oh, slow down, Tiger. <laughs> Maybe someday, but. In the meantime, I'll be- Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder! Hey, Tom, when'd you get that new California plate? You remember that nice young couple who came through town last summer? With the funky band. They sent you their license plate? Their band got impounded. But I pulled some strings to get it out. So, by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? I've got friends in high places. Hey, Tyler. Candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Mmm, I'll take the chips. Think you could take a Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Mm. Plain candles are fine. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Zero. <laughs> okay, this is a big kürbis. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Immer mit der Ruhe, man. Okay, hier kann man Getreide oder Müsli oder sowas kaufen. Das finde ich eigentlich ganz gut. Ist hier sonst noch irgendwas? Habe ich was vergessen? Inventory, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? I don't know who arranged all the shelves today, but they're a total mess. Are you coming for me, Ronan? Do I have to remind you of the great spreadsheet disaster of 2014, huh? We don't talk about that. I just made one tiny function mistake. Which wound up in the store almost ordering $10,000 worth of tampons. <laughs> You really saved my ass when you caught that. Yep, and you still owe me for it. Anyway, how's your day going? We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. Allison. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Okay, sind wir nur Kumpels oder geht da mehr? Hm. Okay, Tyler, ich komme. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. Oh my god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. 
I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Hmm. Also, ich glaube, ich nehme Allisons. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start? Ja, ich glaube, ich nehme sie. Calling in your debts. The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, man. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... My God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? 
Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing here? Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. <laughs> okay, nehmen wir sie ins Verhör. Is there something I can do for you? Hm. Hm. Ah, soll ich gleich mit der Sprache rausrücken? Was machst du gerade? So, what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? Hm, <laughs> yes. What a lucky coincidence. <laughs> Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on... Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? We should go check out the memories now. Mom, stop! 
That's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh yeah. Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. Kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. Pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet earlier. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have some. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Okay, gibt's hier noch eine Erinnerung? Muss alles durchgucken. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. Yeah. I think they're all piled up in Tessa's office somewhere. Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Hmm, okay. Don't know if Can I help one. you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I've... Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Someone got paid to write this. No 
no-show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. <laughs> Okay, wir haben zwei Hinweise. Hm. Okay, ich guck noch mal kurz wegen hier Erinnerung. What are we waiting for? Let's go talk to Tessa. Okay. I think we've seen enough. Haben wir genug gesehen? Okay. Let's talk to Tessa. Alles klar. Is there something I can do for you? Ja. We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries and then you you stormed in threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts. I never like I'm some kind of loan shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have time stamps. <laughs> I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. Hmm. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. Du hast ihr von dem Camp erzählt. Hmm. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Um... I... T Look, you've clearly decided I'm Judas, just like Marianne did. But I was trying to help. Tyler, she told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. You told her to send her child to conversion therapy. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. Now. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen. I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. And Marianne, she had my back. It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. No, oh, mine all. <laughs> what? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Well, 
It's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. I guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. This creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. <laughs> He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Justin Beaver. It's just. <sighs> Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Too little, too late. Well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. Oh, that's still not cleaned up. Assholes. I want 100% college tuition paid. Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your- Officer Ronan. That kind of has a nice ring to it. Steigen Sie ein. Sie möchten wissen, wie der Arbeitsalltag bei der Polizei aussieht, dann bewerben Sie sich. Bla bla bla. Okay. Of course. It's locked. Natürlich. Home sweet home. Hm. You spend a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing in here. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. He never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. What? Claire Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? Yeah. I thought you were still here when it happened. I don't remember it. An alle Mitarbeiter. Uh, Pleasant Bay Mental Health Institute. Patientenverlegung an alle Polizeibeamten. Aufgrund der Überbelegung werden die Patienten Dean Baker, Kevin Sutton uh, verlegt. Okay. Alles klar. Oh, Gregs. Just leaving this out on display again. Gregs. Like Officer Gregs? The one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. 
They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Oh my god, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me you've got baby fever. Ew, no. Why do men always jump to that? can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Schlittenhunderin. Okay. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Oh yeah, she goes to the Iditarod every year, and she's got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man, I forgot what kind of kooky shit people are into out here. Hey now, remember this fella? No way. Is that Jay? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. I think D was a dog in a past life. <laughs> Süß gemalt, wirklich. Wuff. <laughs> oh no, it was her birthday. I completely mm. forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Alles Gute zum 29. <lacht> Gute Arbeit weiter so, Eddie. Du bist der Beweis, dass Weisheit nicht immer mit dem Alter kommt. Lass es krachen, Didi Dan. Genieß das letzte Jahr, bevor du in den Club der verbitteten Frauen in den 30ern eintrittst, Rosi. Lass dir die Schokolade schmecken. Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday, du siehst noch keinen Tag älter als 100 aus. Wie nett. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Hmm. Take it. Oh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Okay, wir können ihn nicht nehmen. Aber vielleicht können wir uns merken, dass er da drin ist. Wir brauchen den bestimmt irgendwann. <lacht> Something's in the way. Man, they are never going to catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. Oh, viel zu lesen. 
27.10.15, 10.30 Officer Greg und ich zur 239, 239 Woodlawn Road entsandt. Diebstahlmeldung bekam an, bla bla bla. Briefkasten ist aufgebrochen. Ich schaute vor zwei Tagen hinein, weil ich auf mein neues Handy wartete. Ich sollte höhere Versandkosten zahlen, damit es rechtzeitig ankommt. Aber ich habe denen gesagt, das lasse ich mir nicht gefallen. Ich zahle nur so viel, wie es kostet und keinen Penny mehr. Sie haben allein beigegeben und meinten, es käme am Dienstag. Aber heute Morgen war das Schloss aufgebrochen und der Briefkasten leer. Wahrscheinlich dieser Nichtsnutztod. Down. Anmerkung Ton Down ist Jervis a Solo, Solo, der mir und Officer Gregs bekannt ist. Bla bla bla. Cooper gab außerdem an, die ganze Nacht vor dem Vorfall zu Hause gewesen zu sein und nichts gehört zu haben. Cooper gab weiter an, wenn ich Ton Down äh, finde, reiße ich den Arsch auf, dass er am Arsch ist. <lacht> Cooper wurde verwarnt, keine weiteren kriminellen Drogen auszusprechen. Cooper erklärte darauf hin, sein Vorhaben Solo anzuzeigen und wurde darauf verwiesen, bei der Staatsanwaltschaft Anzeige zu erstatten. Okay, bla bla bla, da geht es wirklich um diesen Briefkasten. Räuber. So, you really hung out here a lot, huh? I mean, it's where Eddie works, so, yeah. Is that so weird? It's just hard to picture a kid spending her weekends here. And where do you think kids spend their weekends around? What do you know? Still locked. Mm. Eddie must have locked it already. Okay, alles abgeschlossen. Whew, that is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Bellows Crossing. Okay, hier ist nichts mehr, ne? <lacht> Dann gehen wir mal nach oben. Wir merken uns, da liegt ein Schlüssel noch drin. Tyler, you coming? Okay, da gehen wir noch nicht rein. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? Hm. Nur für Mitarbeiter, hm? Hm, okay, ich gehe nochmal nach unten. Ich gehe nochmal nach unten. Ich muss, also irgendwas muss so mit dem Schlüssel sein. Gib mir diesen Schlüssel. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Ja, aber wo sind denn die Lockers? Die Spinde. Something's in the way. Mm. Still locked. Ich sehe hier keine Spinde, ne? Hm. Ja, da müssen wir doch wohl erst mit Eddie quatschen. Denke ich mir mal. Da geht's runter zu den Zellen. Hm. Okay. Dann gucken wir mal bei Eddie vorbei. Allison, hey! Just finishing up a call. 
trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Uh -huh. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Me vessel. Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. So ein Hallo oder so. Nicht möglich. I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. <sighs> Something's in the way. Hmm. Ach ja, welches ist denn der Pausenraum? Das ist die Rezeption. Warte mal, da hinten vielleicht. Okay, let's go in. Locker Room, da sind wir doch. locked Allison how about that coffee we were talking about didn't Tessa buzz Dawn for smoking weed behind the store once yep but hey is this crazy D's locker yep I think so we need a key to open it. Ja, da wissen wir doch, wo er ist. Ich gehe gleich zurück. Da, 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 da. Können wir hier eigentlich auch noch aufmachen? Ach ja. Okay. Erinnerung. Wo? I'm gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. Whew. Rose never lets me back here. Huh. Rose left the computer on. Alle Mitarbeiter, neue Verwaltungssoftware, bitte Passwort zurücksetzen. Okay, beachtet bitte, dass ab jetzt jeder Polizeibeamte mit ID und Passwort Zugriff hat. Okay. Okay, kann ich das selbst ändern? Wilson. Okay. Hm. Noch hier irgendwas? Okay, ich hole mir jetzt erstmal den Schlüssel. Jetzt steht neben da. We borrow this, good. right? Long as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. Okay, gucken wir mal, ob die Zellen noch aufgehen. Nee, geht nicht. Okay, okay. Dann machen wir jetzt erstmal den Locker auf. Locker, locker. We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but... 
You never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. Balto came through. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. Okay, was ist das Passwort? Winner of what? Moment, ich war noch nicht fertig. Was legst du das Ding zurück? Winner on my 20th birthday. Okay. Hm. Winner of my 20th birthday. Okay, sie wurde 29. Was hat das zu heißen? Ugh, I've let this place get gross. I'm not that hungry. You think they'll mind if I check out this masterpiece? <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Okay, 20. Geburtstag. Hier muss doch irgendwo ein Passwort sein. Ich guck noch mal auf den Schreibtisch. Ich her out for a birthday drink. Warte mal, wir haben. Sie ist jetzt 29. Es ist 2015. Das heißt. 2006. Jeff King. Salem. Jeff King. Salem. Okay, probieren wir das einfach mal. Ich nehme jetzt einfach mal Salem, weil Jeff King geht hier nicht rein. Ah, shit. Bingo. Hm. Okay. Hello D. Oh, Sam. What about him? Nur zur Info, bei got for public intoxication last week <lacht> and that was not his first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. Okay, nochmal. Hallo, die. Nur zur Info, weil du morgen früh die Dienstablösung bist. Sam K. 
Kanski hat schon wieder die Nacht in der Ausnüchterungszelle verbracht. Okay, das war der Alte, den wir im Haus getroffen haben. Er war total besoffen und hat Kunden terrorisiert, als Maria ihn vor Bernies aufgelesen hat. Auf dem Revier ist er relativ schnell eingeschlafen, sodass es ihm besser gehen sollte, wenn du anfängst. Er hat aber wahrscheinlich einen riesen Kater, sodass ihm wohl eine große Portion Kaffee und Donuts gut tun würde. Fundbüro. Frau Reynolds hat heute Morgen einen Schlüsselbund vor dem Veggie-Laden gefunden und ihn abgeben. Drei kleine Schlüssel, ein Flaschenöffner als Schlüsselanhänger. Wenn den jemand sucht, der ist im Schrank des Fundbüros. Okay, ich hätte es ja ordentlich archiviert, aber die neue blöde Verwaltungssoftware hat den ganzen Tag gestreikt. Ernsthaft, wer, kann, wer kam auf so eine Idee, die zu ändern? Den würde ich gerne mal zum neuen Zwei-Wege-Schießstand einladen, den ich gefunden habe. Ihre Bestellung wurde versandt. Hallo, vielen Dank für Ihren Einkauf. Ihre Bestellung Just Between aus Staffel 2 DVD-Set wurde versandt. Voraussichtlich Liefertermin Samstag, 7. November. Uh, Polizeivortrag im Jugendzentrum. Hallo, die gibt es für deinen Vortrag am Freitag irgendwelche Folien oder Lesematerial. Ich wollte dir auch noch sagen, dass sich ziemlich viele Leute angemeldet haben. Also bereite dich auf eine hohe Teilnahme vor und trage deinen schicken Anzug. Ich glaube, dass die Kinder deine Reden wirklich gut finden. Weiter so. Wenn ich es wage, stark zu sein, meine Stärke im Dienst, meine Vision einzusetzen, dann wird es immer weniger wichtig, ob ich Angst habe. Okay. Äh, hallo, Kayla. Ich sende dir die Folien, sobald ich zu Hause bin. Ich freue mich so, das zu hören. Ich verrate dir mein Geheimnis, wie man die Aufmerksamkeit der Kinder bewahrt. Geschichten aus der Ausnüchterungszelle. Letztens habe ich ihnen erzählt, wie ich mit einem Besoffenen in eine rasante Verfolgungsjagd in einem Schneemobil, Schneemobil geraten bin. Naja, ein bisschen habe ich das Ganze schon ausgeschmückt, aber grundlegend entsprach es der Wahrheit. <lacht> Alles, was nötig ist, um seinen Standpunkt zu vermitteln, stimmt. Die äh, Schätzchen, du rennst bei mir auf eine Tür ein. Ich freue mich schon auf Freitag. Okay. Okay. Hacking für Anfänger. Hm. Ich weiß nicht, ob das jetzt wirklich was gebracht hat. Hier können wir immer noch nicht rein. Wo ist denn das Fundbüro? War hier noch irgendwas? Ich gucke lieber nochmal. Bevor wir hier weitergehen. Nee, nee, okay. Lass mich durch, Tyler. Polizei bittet Gemeinderat um neues Budget. Hafenstreit beginnt diese Woche. Okay, das hatten wir schon gelesen. Fundbüro. Oh, that's gotta be a new record. Tja, wie sieht's hier aus? Ne, geht nichts. Okay, ich weiß, ich halte mich hier jetzt gerade ein bisschen lang auf, aber ich will ja nichts verpassen. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Wo ist denn dieses Fundbüro? Okay. Na gut. Restroom, ne, geht's nicht lang. Tja. Oh, hier ist noch irgendwo eine Erinnerung. Wow. 
Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry. Trying to deal, but it's a lot. Okay, here is not the fund bureau. Draußen noch eine Tür? Da waren doch auch nur noch Toiletten, oder? Ja. Sonst war hier nichts. Okay, dann gehen wir jetzt nach oben. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed? I always say children are the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom never knew where to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually, it's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. 
So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Gott, ich will eigentlich schon mit meinem Bruder hier ein festes Band haben. Ich stehe zu meinem Bruder. Look, Uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. Was geht? Das war doch das Vier, was im Keller gemalt war. Okay. Interessant. Tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs>
Okay, das war die erste Episode von Tell Me Why. Leider habe ich es mir schon gedacht, dass es so, so, so war, dass Alison ihre Mutter getötet hat. Aber was hat es mit diesem wilden Jäger zu tun? Tja, ich denke, das erfahren wir erst in der nächsten Episode. Also, würde ich mal sagen, bis dahin, bei der nächsten Episode von Tell Me Why. Also, bye bye.
So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home.